Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a journey of picking olive from the trees and then taking them to a small factory to extract some fresh olive oil. During this video you find out the steps involved to uh, extracting oil uh, from olive using cold press method. And if you're wondering why we call some of the olive oil extra virgin olive oil or virgin olive oil or regular olive oil, please watch uh, this video until the end. Okay, let's get started. Today it's uh, we came for picking some olive in friend of ours. Uh, these olives, what you call it, Dan? I think they're called French Pollo. They look like a Spanish olive. They're Spanish olive. They with... look like one anyway. And uh, this year, apparently, the crop hasn't been the best, but it's still very good. There are a lot of nice sheep here as well. Um, and we have a goat. I'm going to show hopefully later on how we're going to preserve those one. This is my wife and how are you going Chris? Yeah good, yeah. enjoying. Dan is right into it. Some of the top one if you're not going to try to get in, they're really good. And Dan with his friend which I was hanging around him. <laughs> yeah, Kian, what you done this morning? How many chances you had to score the goal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I had quite a few. And it was, uh, he created his chances. That was a good thing. But it's good he's coming out and helping her picking this stuff. If it's, <laughs> that's right. So they roll down the hill, don't they? Uh, they you have, have to put the, some sheet under it, isn't it? Really good. Oh, yeah. What have you got in the bag? We have a lot of olive. Let's have a look. It's beautiful color. Mm. Really beautiful color. From bright green to dark black to purple and big yellow tint. It's beautiful even to paint. This is my friend Dan, which picked the olive from little farm, family farm they have. a lot of leaves and branches.
this is the last one But this is all pallet from Dan's uh, family farm. It's nice. Those one the oil olives. They are small, but generally speaking, that's what I heard. They give you good, better percentage of the oil than the bigger one. gonna be our trolley which the oil gonna be extracted
water and oil to come in together. The pressure in those mines is a 40 ton. There are and all is hydraulic in those tanks. The pressure has to be precise. If it's too much, they're extracting some oil from the seas, which is not ideal and can be poisonous. And actually, that's. Um, the Spanish variety that we This is the last lot of the you know, final wash to get any excess oil to this general centrifuge over there. And that's the end. Neil, next year, what are you going to bring here with you? <laughs> Bread. Bread. <laughs> and what else? <laughs> you say onion? And onions. And yeah. bread and onions. Spring. Uh, uh, spring. <laughs> I'm not a, I've never been a khaki hander. Yeah, I remember driving past seeing a whole squadron of them bunching radishes. All right, now we look at why they call some olive oil extra virgin or virgin olive oil or regular oil. The, if the oil was extracted from olive using cold press, generally speaking, they are virgin olive oil. Extra virgin oil also is extracted using cold press. However, those olive oil have low pH less than 2 therefore is much more acidic and the reason for it is they are very rich uh, in polyphenol polyphenol is very um, uh, have a lot of health benefit and they are antioxidant when the olive is freshly picked and not damaged and go to the factory and ex uh, extracted quickly Usually that oil is rich in the polyphenol. I can say I olive was you know freshly picked and was I believe looking at the 
beautiful color of this uh, olive oil I think is extra virgin however since we didn't measure the pH of that oil I can claim it definitely it's uh, extra virgin olive oil Le regular olive oil they use in hot press during that hot press most of the polyphenol get lost and uh, that's one of the reason actually also olive oil um, regular olive oil have less smell as well because those polyphenol and compound they give a bit of a smell and nice aroma to olive oil as well and here you have it now you know what's the differences between extra virgin oil and virgin oil and regular oil if you enjoy watching this video please uh, give it a thumb up and share it with your family and friend until next week uh, uh, keep active eat healthy and be curious bye for now